Welcome, my name is Peter Strong and I'm a professional mindfulness therapist and I offer a mindfulness therapy online. If you're interested in um, mindfulness for trauma and for post-traumatic stress disorder, then please go to my website and learn more about mindfulness therapy for uh, recovery from trauma and PTSD and email me uh, to learn more, uh, to ask any questions you may have and also to schedule a uh, Skype therapy session with me for PTSD or trauma recovery. So during um, these online therapy sessions I'll be teaching you how to apply mindfulness and mindfulness meditation for aiding your recovery from emotional trauma or PTSD. There are two basic uh, principles that we develop during these uh, online mindfulness therapy sessions for PTSD. The first is the, the incredibly um, needed uh, skill of breaking free from the habit of reactive identification with your thoughts and with your emotional reactions. This is by far the biggest problem uh, that creates emotional suffering. So when thoughts or emotional reactions arise, our tendency is to become completely identified with them. And so we become captivated by our thoughts and our memories. We become um, prisoners of our thoughts and our memories. And we become um, basically controlled by them when we become identified with them. So mindfulness training is all about learning how to change the relationship with your thoughts and traumatic memories and emotional reactions so that you do not become identified with them. So that you can see these uh, mental objects as the observer, the true self that can see the contents of mind without becoming prisoners of the contents of mind. So that's the first most important uh, mindfulness training, is learning how to develop what we call um, independence from our mind, from the thoughts, from the memories, from the emotions uh, that uh, arise in the mind. The second part of uh, trauma recovery will involve working with the imagery of the trauma itself. Working with the imagery, changing the imagery so that it does not um, cause the uh, emotional trauma, the emotional reaction. It's very easy to do this when we start to develop a conscious, mindful relationship with our trauma. If we continue to react to it, then we can't uh, see what's there. And if we don't see the nature of that imagery, then we can't change it. We become a prisoner of it. But once you start to uncover the imagery and see how it actually works, you can change the structure of that imagery. One very simple technique is to make the imagery smaller because the imagery of for a trauma is generally very large and it has to be large in order to create the emotional trauma. If you can make the image smaller then you will reduce the ability of that memory to produce uh, emotional trauma. There are many other things we can do as well uh, with mindfulness, but these are two primary areas. We work on changing your relationship to your trauma and also changing the imagery itself. 
that is uh, responsible for producing the emotional reactions uh, associated with the trauma. If you'd like to learn more about mindfulness for trauma and PTSD recovery, then please go to my website and email me to schedule a Skype therapy session. Thank you.